Well, Jeff, uh, thank you very much for having us here in Willow Springs in California for the new F uh, Type Coupe. A car like everybody, including me, has been waiting for a long, long time. And I guess for the brand, even more, right? Because it's a super important car for you guys. It is an important car. You know, we've been out of the sports car market for about 40 years since the E-Type went out of production. So when we introduced the F-Type convertible last year, we were really thrilled with the way the market received that and really expected Jaguar, which were famous for sports cars, to be back in that segment. And now with the introduction of the coupe version, we continue that tradition and that rollout of making gorgeous sport coupes. Uh, one question about that order of, of, of coming into the market, the convertible first and the coupe later. Uh, most manufacturers, when they present cars that have both versions, usually it's reversed. Why was that? Well, it was really a development decision. You know, the car was developed first as a coupe, which the uh, which is a, actually a more difficult car to develop from a structural rigidity standpoint. And then the coupe version adds on top of it, so it improves even further the rigidity and the structure of the car. So we also knew that there was a pent-up demand for uh, convertible in the marketplace. And here in the U.S., there's, and uh, in certain markets, especially in markets like Miami and Southern California, great markets for convertibles and uh, people love Jaguar convertibles. So that's why we decided to go with the convertible first and then within 12 months have the coupe version. Yeah, And uh, so this car, the coupe, uh, completes, let's say, the first phase of the mm -hmm. new Jaguar, right? I mean, like, since the sell from Ford to, to Tata Group, uh, this car completes that cycle. Mm -hmm. and, and it's been like a great cycle, I mean, for a short time. I mean, what is it, like uh, yeah. seven years, eight uh, years? Yeah, about, about six years since the purchase of, uh, of the company by Tata Group. And, and uh, that's really been uh, an important period for Jaguar because it, the initial investment allowed us to introduce cars like the XF, the new XJ, the first big all-aluminum flagship Jaguar with the new design language. And then we progressively introduced things like new the supercharged V6 and turbocharged four-cylinder engines, all-wheel drive, really important to have in the luxury space. And then, of course, culminated in that first phase with the F-Type uh, introduction, our, our Halo sports car. And now that sets us up for the next wave of big investment and, and the growth of the brand going forward. And like uh, not only growth in uh, models, but like financially, the company is doing fantastic. I mean, like some companies couldn't like dream of having such a good run in yeah, short, it, it, so, such, such time, such short time. Well, Jaguar and Land Rover are great sister brands, and the two brands together really are an unbeatable combination. Two great British iconic brands, and the strength of the, the Land Rover brand is fantastic, and um, it, it really adds to the strength of the whole group to have both of these brands and the synergies that come from the development, the manufacturing, the engineering, the aluminum technology is really coming to market and coming home to roost now with the kind of profitability you see. So last year, for example, the group uh, globally made 2.5 billion pounds in profit, which if you put that in the context of what Tata purchased the companies for about six years ago, uh, is a fantastic return on investment. And very fast. <laughs> very fast, exactly. So they, they're happy, and you're happy, and your customers are happy. And uh, now that you said, like, you back in the sports uh, car segment, uh, and inevitably people are going to make comparisons, and, but there isn't really, because these are tops of, 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 of its, uh, category, of its uh, specs. I mean, it's about $100,000, yeah. and it, like, delivers a lot more than other cars that yeah. are more expensive. Yeah, at $99,000, the uh, R-Coupe with 550 horsepower um, is a fantastic value. Um, it really does offer a lot more performance than uh, the comparable models, for example, in the Porsche 911. And a 911 Turbo is about $150,000, just yeah. under. Um, so you're really talking about an exceptional value. And that's, that's what Jaguar has always done. The E-Type, when it was in the market, was a great value for the performance and the technology and that's a core part of the Jaguar brand we offer more we offer more equipment we offer more features performance and then you wrap it in that gorgeous skin the Jaguar design that's kind of the, the magic of the brand and the interior I mean you have to talk about the interior it's like a, like a very like jewelry almost yeah the interior is a really important part of the brand too because that's what gives you the luxury the feel the sportiness and the F-type for example that cockpit feel you you have the view over the long hood the materials uh, that surround you with the carbon fiber and the aluminum and all real authentic materials and you know that's central to the craftsmanship the brand has and it's that dual personality of that roaring ferocious performance but inside you're, you're cosseted and uh, comfortable. You were talking about technology, and this car has a lot of uh, high performance, almost racing 
technology in the car, even, uh, but still, it's pretty comfortable to drive uh, on the street. Like, we came from uh, the London Hotel in Beverly Hills in California, uh, and West Hollywood, I'm sorry, to hear the Willow Springs, and then, like, we forced it really hard on the track, and it so, performs excellent in both uh, aspects. Huh? Yeah, that's that, that personality of the car, and Jaguar's always had that, that performance characteristic, but then that luxury uh, mindset and aspect, too, and that's the the uh, part that people love about the brand is that is that personality that both aspects bring and um, you know you could drive the car on a track with 550 horsepower and kind of the ferocity of that and the, the carbon ceramic brakes and then you can leave the track and have a beautiful smooth ride home back back to uh, Los Angeles but um it, it really is that that dual nature of the cars that is distinct from what other brands offer in the market so with uh, more cars new models and all this uh, new, new strategy um, is the, the, the Jaguar brand growing here these days? Do you have more dealerships? Uh, how's that uh, going on? Well, we have we have a very consistent dealer body. We're, our dealers do a fantastic job of taking care of our customers. In fact, we won the J.D. Power SSI Award this past year with the number one brand for taking care of our customers, and we're really proud of our dealers for, for doing that. Um, and then just yesterday, we, we got news that we were the uh, second-ranked brand in the entire J.D. Power Initial Quality Study, which ranks uh, your quality of your owner's feel in the first 90 days of ownership. So um, Jaguar has fantastic quality. We, our dealers know how to take care of customers, and that's one of the big reasons that's fueling our growth in addition to these new products that we're yeah. bringing. Well, Jeff, thank you very much again for your time, and uh, you've been with the company, what, less than a year, right? Just about a 10 months, so it's a, it's a fantastic time to be a Jaguar. I'm really proud of the work that's being done. Um, and we're really thrilled to be able to bring these new Jaguars to the to the American market. So hopefully your second year will be as successful or even more successful than uh, first. With, with a car like the F-Type Coupe, I think we're on a, on a good track. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.